Amphibia is finally out and it's pretty good. Do yourself a favor and watch the first episode if you haven't already. Both segments are uploaded on Disney's YouTube channel, so really there's no excuse not to check it out. Today we'll be talking about one of the brief mysteries introduced to us in this episode that'll undoubtedly play a major role as the series continues. What exactly is this mystery I'm referring to? Thanks for asking! It's the magic chest. The very first glimpse we get of this thing is right in the opening theme song. In fact, it has to be important given that this is what everyone's greeted by when they start watching. The chest is metallic and the world of Amphibia is designed on it, with the frog raising his arms towards three colored jewels, blue, purple, and green. From the very beginning, it's clear that this chest is what can transport people from Earth to Amphibia, which is done in the theme song. Anne and both of her friends fade away from the human world as they dive into a completely new world. All you have to do is open the chest, a bunch of colors fly out, and ba-boom! You wake up in Amphibia. What's worth mentioning is that there are three jewels and three people. Seems like each jewel is a person, which is why all three were able to get there. But one thing is clear, Anne doesn't seem to know a whole lot about this mysterious item. How exactly does the chest work? More importantly, how can she use it to get back home? During episode one, some more information is revealed about this mysterious chest. Anne takes it out and opens it, but there's something noticeably different from before. Remember how I mentioned it had the colored jewels in the theme song? Yeah, well, the jewels are still here, but all the colors were removed for some reason. Anne tries opening it and transporting back to Earth, but obviously it doesn't work. At this point, we know that she needs to find a way to make these colorful again in order to return home. While we don't get a whole lot of background into the origins of the magic chest, there's a nice little hint that could reveal more than we initially thought. At one point in the episode, Anne's talking to a sprig about how if her friend wants you to steal a crazy music box from a thrift store, even if you really don't want to, you do it. This was already a sign of a toxic friendship, but that's a whole other topic for a whole other day. We actually get to see Anne steal the magic chest of the thrift store with both of her friends waiting outside. All right, Anne, you can do this. This makes you start asking the question of why exactly they wanted her to steal the chest specifically. Do they know more about the chest than we think? Also, remember that this appeared in a thrift store, meaning that it had a previous owner. Maybe one of Anne's friends knew about the previous owner, which is how they figured out the box's secrets. Anyway, the scene shortly after this is when all three of them are at an abandoned playground at night, so it's obvious they knew something was special with the chest. They specifically went to a place where nobody else is around to see what they're doing, which means they could experiment without any suspicious looks. No matter what, this magic chest slash music box slash whatever you want to call it is clearly very important to the overall story of Amphibia. After all, it should be the main way to get back home, so we'll be finding out even more secrets as the series continues. Guys, I have so many questions, but that just gets me excited for all the future episodes. Soon enough, the true mysteries will have their answers. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.